Good YouTube, Devil 92 here, back again once again today, people. Today we're for episode number 68 of our Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Let's Play. Last episode, you guys, we got back on track with the story and headed into Victory Road on Mount Aquila. Took on Gladion, found out Victory Road is different, cleared out a whole full room full of trainers, got some rare candies. Anita started using Return. Yolanda's been using Draco Meteor. Found Poison Jab. Lots of shit's been going down. So if you missed some of that, definitely make sure you go back and check it out. In today's episode, we're going to continue to these torch laden doors and see what Victory Road has in store for us. So if you guys are hyped for today's episode, and of course, we're going to show you support as a proud member of the Nappy Nation. Make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Now, let's get a super quick team recap for you guys. Up first, we have Anita, our Komala, level 55, holding the Silk Scarf of Comatose Rock, and Return, the finally newly acquired Return, Brick Break, Shadow Claw, and Woodhammer. Then we have Bradshaw, our Incineroar, the man of the squad, level 58, holding the Charcoal with Fire Punch, Darkest Lariat, Thunder Punch, and Brick Break. Up next, we have Yolanda, who's still the newest member of the squad. It still feels like just yesterday we got her. Our lone executor level 52 holding the Miracle Seed with Frisk Rock and Energy Ball, Sludge Bomb, Flamethrower, and Draco Meteor. Then we have Bubble Buddy. How did I forget about Bubble Buddy finally getting liquidation? Just at level 57 with the Water EMZ with Water Bubble as well, Rock and Leech type liquidation, infestation, and crunch. Then we have Shukaku, our Palo San level 57 holding the Leftovers with Water Compaction, Rock and Shadow Ball, Earth Power, Rock Slide, and Giga Drain. And last but not least, we have my boy, our Big Steel Button, Zion, our Soul Galeo, who was holding the Twisted Spoon with Full Metal Body, Rock and Sun Steel Strike, Psychic Flare Blitz, and Crunch. You guys notice how every single mod we have, except for our starter, is in a luxury ball? It's super litty. It's litty titty. I'm sorry, though. I'm sorry. It's just too dope. It's too dope. <laughs> Anyways, let us continue on and see what other hijinks we can get into on Victory Road here. <laughs> Whoa, how, how, how are you taking shortcuts, dog? I just got. Oh my god, dog. Uh. First off, yes. So I'm not trying to run into a whole bunch of shit. We got full restores. See? It's an RPG, dog. You gotta check everywhere. You gotta check everywhere. These niggas... What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Yeah! Yeah! Dog, I'm ready. Come here. Wait, who do I have up front? Anita and Brett. Yo, let's do Anita and Yolanda. Let's do Anita and Yolanda. Let's do it, dog. I want y'all to battle me. Lit. We may be away from our home, but our fighting dojo travels with us, and all are welcome. Two black belts at once. This is going to be a head-on-head -head battle, you understand? Now, if I were to walk up and talk to him by himself, would he still say two black belts on at once? Look at these. Little wannabe ass. I guess he would, because they're, they're sparring partners. Wannabe ass machokes, dog. This thing has a beware. Okay, wait, wait, wait. You should beware, beware, beware. Of the Pokemon with the pink coat. Yikes. Alright, let's see what we can do here. If either of these niggas bust out, this beware is gonna blow Anita away, dog. Uh, I just have to get Anita out of here. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> What am I talking about? <laughs> Even if I were to double team one of them, the other would just high jump kick Anita. Alright, so unless you go for a brutal swing, we should be good. I'm gonna flamethrower the beware. Because of Fluffy. Because of Fluffy. I hope they both targeted down our first slot with Anita. So Shukaku takes it. High jump kick? Of course not! Alright. Hammer arm. Why couldn't you do one or the other? Why couldn't you have hammer arm the lone executor and high jump kick? <sighs> Kamala, dog. You're making shit difficult for me, dog. Alright, I'm gonna heal. Because I don't want anything to happen to Yolanda. I was not expecting to get high jump kick immediately, right off the bat. I could have 100%. No, the hammer arm would have blown Anita back, though. 
I don't know if Anita would have outsped the beware either. Lit, Yolanda. How you miss that big ass Pokemon is beyond me. Oh, ow, 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 ow. You bitch. Holy shit. Dog. I'm gonna rock slide. Watch me miss this rock slide on the beware. And he thrashes again. U turn? You sneaky ass bitch. Even that did way too much fucking damage. That's not even stab. Oh! Oh! Well, that's just gonna kill. It doesn't matter if I healed or not. God damn, dog. Jesus Christ. That you turned in way too much damage, dog. I mean, I know that me and Fao, me and Fao, me and Fu, and me and Shao are hench as fuck, but still, dog. Alright, we're doing it. This is probably a bad idea. But for one night only, live on pay per view, Incineroar versus Machamp. Let's get it, Doug. Let's get it, Doug. You beat the fuck out of this Machamp, Doug. Shot, bro. Bradshaw's about to get fucked. <laughs> Why do I keep sending my mods out to die, Doug? Why do I keep sending my mods out to die? It's a cruel, cruel world. I guess we know who won that matchup. And still, I mean, that's what happened at WrestleMania 21. John Cena beat JBL, so I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. I really don't know what I thought was gonna happen. Yeah, you know what? Just for the shits and gigs, Doug. Just for the shits and the gigs. What up, bitch? My big nigga, right here, Doug. Try me, test me, pull up. Dog, the newly acquired psychic. Let's get it. Zion's like, you're fucking with who? That's what I thought. Sit down, child. I'm the living embodiment of a fucking son. Just go back to your Pokeball, dog. Sparring partners, along. I missed the other one. Was it Imor? I don't know. Hold on. Before we take on the other pair over here. We need to go back, because we need some more revives. I, last episode, I noticed we had like four revives or some shit like that. So, we did not have enough. We, in fact, did not have enough. Haha. -ha. So let's get this free health care, get these revives, and head back up here. Anita still got that experience. <laughs> I feel bad because Yolanda got smacked up, dog. Actually smacked all the way up, dog. Hey! Yo, they should do a side quest in this game where you have to rob a Pokemon. <laughs> That'll never happen, but imagine if it did. Um, I actually have things that I can sell if I needed to. You guys want some max revives? Y'all a bunch of cheap ass bitches, to be honest, dog. Like, you really are. You really are just cheap, dog. You could just sell the maxi vibes. I've beaten everybody in the fucking region, dog. And, like, you could help a nigga out by just selling that right then and there. You know what? I'm just gonna ride the back of my boy, dog. When you're upset, when you're mad, whatever, just hop on your machamp, dog. That's some bullshit. There's too many non Machamp accessible pathways in the Alola region. Machamp can go everywhere that everyone else can go. No, everyone can go where Machamp can go. But Machamp can't go where everyone else can go? That's some bullshit. And I, I, am I the only one that's noticed that these Ride Machamps are like bred to be this fucking big dog? Because a regular Machamp is not this fucking big. This nigga is huge. And you know what? We doing this second 
fighting duo with the same team members we had. No, wait, that's not smart. Anita is not. No, wait, 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 wait. It's not smart, Nappy. What are you doing, dog? What are you doing? But Anita needs the experience, dog. I'm just hard shot the bubble buddy. Bubble buddy is the only one from the uh, the, the the core four that isn't level 58 yet. I'm here, dog. Oh, I'm a champ. Osu, the guy next to me says Osu too. Put your strength into the area below your belly button. My dick. First of all, it doesn't matter if you talk to just one guy or not, because obviously both of them are gonna activate. Holy shit, my nigga's got a crabominable. Okay, relax. Relax, relax, dog. Relax. Hmm. Uh, well, I'm gonna do the damn thing again. You know, there's a flying type. No, I'm gonna do the smart thing. No, there's an ice type. Still, I'm gonna go to Shikaku and beat the fighting type moves. Oh no, I'm gonna get fucked by this ice type, dog. But I have to go out to Bubble Buddy. Hold on. This Corbando was gonna ice punch the fuck out of Yolanda, dog. I had to take the steps and process everything that was happening just now. Come on back here, Yolanda. Come on back, girl. Hey. Don't you feel like a dumbass. Don't you feel like a dumbass. Don't you, don't you, don't, don't you. Don't you, don't. You what? Why would you dynamic punch? They wanted Anita dead, dog. They wanted Anita dead. I'm gonna rock slide. Lick. You know what? I'm gonna Z move. Z liquidation on this Crabominable. Let's get it. What if I Z moved? Oh no. So that doesn't mean he's gone. He can still get a hit. I was going to say, what if I Z-move Shukaku to raise his defense? <laughs> he's got to be smarter than the average bear. Let's see if this Corbomino lives this. This is the strongest version of Bubble Buddy Z-move, dog. Get smacked up, dog. Smacked up. Out of my face. How dare you try to attack Anita like that? What am I getting? What am I... Is it Sky Drop? Sky Drop is the one that picks you up. That's what it is. Okay, so I'm gonna assume some just do make an ass out of me and you. If I would have just shadow ball, that would have killed. But I'm going to assume that you're attempting to sky drop my bug type or sky attack my bug type. So I'm gonna swap out into my steel type. What up, bitch? And Zion dies all together, dog. Get fucked, dog. Get fucked. <laughs> Get absolutely fisted, dog. Crazy. Yolanda, you get them levels, girl. You get them levels, girl. So after this battle, we have to use a rare cannon on Yolanda. This is a switch battle? My nigga just sends out Bangoro. What the fuck? Uh, he's gonna attack. He's super effective against both of us, dog. This is not a good look, dog. This is not a good look. What am I supposed to do against... Dark tights with Zion on here. Launch, dog. Launch, dog. Mmm. Ow, 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 ow. Zion eating that up, dog. A stab and super effective. Swallowed, bruh. I'm so proud of our squad. I thought, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. I thought when we started recording these that we were going to have some trouble here and there. No trouble at all. No trouble at all. Oh, dog, none, none to be had. We cruising through Victory Road, bro. These filthy peons dare challenge me to a battle. What's wrong with them? Why I wasted that fresh water? This rare candy though can go to Yolanda. Why did I use the full restore? Here I was thinking I had a whole bunch of full restores. Fuck. 
to use the max potion I had. Anyways, bye niggas. Y'all can stay out here and keep punching and kicking all you want. We outie five, three billion. That's Necrozma. I, 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 I went and had a little bit of thought. I did the math. I figured out that that's Necrozma. What the fuck is Necrozma doing on Victory Road, dog? Okay. Only you can prevent lost save data. So, is this supposed to be like... So, like, Sogaleo landed at the Altar of the Sun and Necrozma landed on Mount Lanakila? Necrozma has fallen to the ground, weak and drained of power. Will you share the light of your Z powering with Necrozma? Sure. Lino. I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for this. I did not ask for this. I did not ask for this. I did not ask for this. I did not. This nigga's level 65. I did not ask for this. I did not ask for this. I'm not ready for this. Dog, click return. Click return. You got this, Anita. Photon Geyser? Anita, you might. Yo, Anita eating it up, dog. Anita eating it up, dog. Look at that damn big damage, dog. That big old damage, dog. Mm. Uh, mm. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. What is Photon Geyser? Is that a dragon type move? Because I keep getting it mixed up with Prismatic Laser. That's what I keep getting it mixed up with. They both start with P's, though. I just got played. I just got played. Congratulations, I played myself. So what am I supposed to do to weaken this thing but not kill it? I think our Rock Slide we will put it in the red. This Photon guy is going to kill me. 100%. 100%. I would I would I'm not I was not ready. I was not in this mindset to take on this challenge right now. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. To keep it from killing. I feel like rock slide is actually the only move that I have that I could use. Uh, I'm gonna use my max revive right now. What is happening, Doug? Power gem. Power gem, photon geyser, night slash. Uh, I could brick break it. I mean, it's just gonna outspeed me. Doesn't matter. I, I, forgot, I completely forgot about brick break. Okay. So an interesting turn of events to say the least. I'm still kind of flabbergasted that I'm battling a Krosma right now. Not gonna lie. Actually, I wanna see. I'm gonna click Giga Drain instead. Why are you power jamming this rock type, Doug? Okay, one more Giga Drain should do it. As long as you don't get Prismatic Laser Beamed. I was gonna say, unless he's trying to lower my HP low enough so that a Prismatic Laser will kill me, not Prismatic Mag Laser. What the fuck? Photon Geyser is the move. I'm thinking of, why the fuck do you have Iron Defense? Oh, we don't have peaks around this time to help us Thunder Wave it. Dog. Dog, 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 Where's my, where's my? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Do it. My nigga. I wonder if that's supposed to be that easy, because, I mean, technically it's on the cover of the box. Mm -hmm. I can leave. 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 <laughs> Oh my god, look at Anita getting them levels too, dog. I'm proud of the squad, dog. I really am. And Krosma's dad will be added to Pokedex. So I can fuse these two now, right? That's the thing I can do, correct? Correct, Amundo? It looks somehow pained as it rages around in search of light, which serves as energy. It's apparently from another world. This nigga is seven feet tall. What do I nickname Necrozma? I had a nickname in Sun and Moon, but let me let me let me make sure I'm spelling it right. Let me make sure I'm spelling it right. Hmm. Huh. Uh. Okay. Now I spelled it this way. Yo, I should name it. I should literally name it Redacted. I actually should name it Redacted. Because, okay, so in Sun and Moon, my nickname I used for it was Kaleidoscope. Which I think is really, really dope, because obviously he's all about light. And he has Prismatic Laser, which is, you know, all light and this and that. But I feel like, what if I name him Binoculars? Microscope. Telescope. Kaleidoscope. I like Kaleidoscope because it's unique. But I'm also feeling Redacted. Cause I feel like Necrozma is kind of an outcast. Wait, do we have brackets? We don't have brackets. Okay. I can just do this. Okay, so now the redacted meme will live on forever. It is immortalized in our Necrozma. Necrozma's name is redacted. <laughs> no, I want to send to a box. What? Redacted as an Ultra Necrosmium Z. Ultra Necrosmium Z. Bro. You found a Z crystal that fell from Necrozma. Dog. Splendid. Of course, my nigga would be in this barren wasteland. He was there in the in the uh, what's the name of the the the, the place in fifth gen? Giant chasm. It's been a while, Nappy. You must be a formidable trainer indeed if you were able to get Necrozma as one of your allies. Good. And this is from me. The Ultra Recon Squad asked me to develop a device that would be able to control Necrozma, but I improved it to my own liking. And now it's a device that makes it possible to draw out even more power from Necrozma. Yes, in short, it makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse the legendary Pokemon Solgaleo. This is the Coast Machine number 1198, officially dubbed the N Solarizer. So I'm guessing in Moon it's the Lunarizer. Lun Lunarizer? In addition, this is the Colorus Machine N. In addition, this is the course machine number 1199, officially dubbed the N Lunarizer. It makes possible for Necrozma to fuse with legendary Pokemon Lunala. Oh, look at that! <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? Ah, uh, yes, I have heard, in fact, that you first met Togleo. No, it's pre evolved Cosmog upon the Hollow Trail. I believe that a trainer like you will be able to use both Alola's legendary Pokemon and the fearsome power of Necrozma properly. I happen to know quite a bit about Pokemon fusion myself, but that is a different tale. Good luck in your battles. That's so dope! Bro, 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 bro! Nice and the weird guy with glasses at Aether Paradise, they could be friends. Dog, that was kind of wild, dog. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I need to go back. I need to go back! I need to go back, 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 I need to go back. I need to go back. <sighs> That's wild, bro. That's actually fucking wild, bro. Dog, that's so cool. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna super cuck everybody right here, right now. Next episode, we fusing these bitches together. 
if you guys enjoyed today's episode. And of course, I'm going to show you support as a proud member of the Happy Nation. Make sure to like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Until then, your boy is Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!